So we're going to talk to the guy and it all works out well. Obviously, you can see I'm not on the boat today. Big, big changes coming to the channel. I'm on uh, my way to take a peek at what's going to make things different. Sit tight. If things work out, we're going to have a good day. All right, we're just about there. talk to the guy and it all works out well this is going to be the change to the channel let's go get him yeah buddy it's a done deal baby hook to the truck heading to the house all right well couple days later but I got her at the house and uh, got a couple little things to tweak before I get her out on the water but since she's here let me give you a walkthrough all right so we'll start here at the back of her uh, again this is the Rebalo Cayman 226 to 2017 uh, got your 200 Yamaha the F200 XB uh, one of the nice things, one of the things I liked about it, especially for the family, is this turns from a fishing machine to a family cruiser in seconds. But, starting at the very back, you got your Rebalo bucket for your cast net. It also accesses the bilge back there. Just in front of that. Nice 30 gallon live well. And on the other side, it's almost the same thing, but back there, just the, the swim ladder folds out. Another 30 gallon live well up front. And this back casting deck here is nice because it pops open, flips up to a nice seat. That's the back. One of the things the guy before me did that I, I don't know about yet is that nice uh, leaning post rocket launcher up on the back so i guess if you're on the casting deck in rough waves or whatever give you something to lean against hold on to and you got the 10 foot power pole the seat some of them come with the flip up bolsters this one doesn't but i guess that's inconsequential t-top you got some sp spreader lights up there more rod holders up top up here, you put a nice little VHF, and then on the console, you got a nice 10 inch Garmin. Let's figure out how to use that sucker. Your power pole, jack plate. Yeah, I've got to mention it had an Atlas, Atlas jack plate, tilt steering, AM FM radio with Bluetooth. Let's see your Yamaha gauges. Uh, the speakers. There's one looks in decent shape. But the other one 
It's like the cones starting to rust out of it. So we'll end up we'll end up replacing those. Uh, get your auxiliary import for your stereo and Bluetooth or uh, USB. 12 volt up there. Don't know how well that's gonna work, but it's a boat. Things go. That's why. He also installed a ton of rod holders on each side of the boat. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six rod holders on each side of the boat. But you got one, two cup holders in the back, two in the console, and two up here for your seats. Now this is where he's also got the deck pads that cover this entire bow of the boat and the backrests that slide in there there in the in the console so it turns into a nice little family cruiser one of the differences i noticed between this 2017 and the newer models is this area is recessed this is recessed more in the newer models and there's a handle up here so you can get a hold of it when you're running it's actually more comfortable for somebody to sit up here and run safer because it's more recessed but he also put a deck plate up there you know i've got the leaning post seat i pilot trolling motor uh, this is why the uh, family wanted this boat because the console opens up and we got a head so VHF antenna and spread a light up there she's dirty she needs a cleaning a uh, couple little couple of things I got to work on on it before I actually get it out on the water I don't have any brake light or uh, turn indicator on the driver's side it's just probably a pinched wire running through the trailer and just a general cleaning I tested all of the stuff but I want to give it more just one one one, one more once over and fix anything I need a general spit shine and I'm gonna get this sucker on the water soon I'm dying Here we go, baby. First fish on a new boat. Yeah, buddy. Nice trout. That'll work. There's just a quick little video picking the new boat up, going over it. Took it out the last couple of days. First day was the whole family. Obviously, the first one out. A couple little clips there of running. Second day, finally actually got fishing. Again, my kids were with me. Just wanted to keep the rods bent on them. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna put the cameras and how I'm gonna figure everything out on the boat, but it's coming together. She runs, everything works. Got no issues with it. Gotta fix the trailer. A couple little details here and there, but that's, again, details. But, happy to have her. On a sad note, 
sold my Ginu. <laughs> I debated on this and debated and debated and I thought it was better to sell it in the condition it was in because it was still in great shape. I love that boat but I didn't want it to sit and deteriorate and then get to a point where it's not worth anything. So young guy come by, picked it up. He called me the other day, he was out on it. Hopefully he's gonna enjoy that little Ginu as much as I did. It was sad to see her go, but it's time to move up. Lots, lots more to come with the new boat. Hopefully I get some fish on her. I already took the stink off with a little trout today so let me know what you think of her smash that like and subscribe button because there's a lot more to come on my new Roboto Cayman 226 and I will see you on the water